I would like to invite you all now to sing Ali Ali with me. My God, my God. I hope you all know where we're standing. We're standing here on the main track where all the trains went to the final destinations, Auschwitz, Riga. You can read it, Theresienstadt. And um, this is a very special memorial place here. Eli Eli. Eli. Everybody's here already to read about the fallen Olympians. Wow. Eddie Hamill was an American soccer player for Dutch club AFC Ajax. Hamill was the first Jewish player for Ajax. Hamill was born in New York City and moved to Amsterdam in his teenage years. Hamill was murdered in Auschwitz in April 1940. was a Dutch gymnast. She won the gold medal as a member of the Dutch gymnastic team at the 1928 Summer Olympics in Amsterdam. She was murdered together with her husband, their six-year-old daughter, and their two-year-old son in Auschwitz. Janos Garay was a Hungarian fencer and one of the best saber fencers in the world in the 1920s. Garay was murdered in 1945 in Mauthausen shortly before the end of World War II. Anna Dresden Pollock was a Jewish Dutch gymnast. She won the gold medal as a member of the Dutch gymnastics team at the 1928 Summer Olympics in Amsterdam. She was murdered in Sobibor death camp in July 1943. Julius Hirsch was a German soccer player. Hirsch was the first Jewish player to represent the German national team. He was murdered in Auschwitz. Dr. Otto Hirschman was a Jewish Austrian swimmer, fencer, lawyer, and sports official. He was murdered in the Sobibor death camp in 1942. Lily Hanoff was a German track and field athlete. 
who set four world records and won 10 German national championships in four different disciplines. She was deported to the Riga ghetto in Latvia. She and her mother were taken from the ghetto and machine gunned to death by an Einsatzgruppen mobile killing unit in September 1942. Helena Nordheim was a Jewish Dutch gymnast. She won the gold medal as a member of the Dutch gymnastics team at the 1928 Summer Olympics in Amsterdam. Helena, her husband, and their 10-year-old daughter were murdered in Sobibor death camp. Garrett Klerikalper was a Dutch Jewish gymnastics coach. He led the Dutch women gymnastics team to win the gold medal in the 1928 Olympic Games in Amsterdam. In July 1943, Garrett, his wife, and his 14-year-old daughter were murdered in Sobibor. Attila Petzhauer was a Jew Jewish Hungarian Olympic champion fencer. In the 1932 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles, Petzhauer was part of the champion Hungarian Sabre team that won the gold medal. He was murdered in the Davidovka concentration camp in the Ukraine. We also remember the 11 Israeli Olympians murdered at the Munich Olympics. On September 5, 1972, the Munich Olympics were transformed into a site of terror. The team of Israeli athletes were taken hostage by Palestinian terrorists and 11 Israeli Olympians lost their lives. They were Israel's best, not just athletes. They were sons, fathers, uncles, brothers, friends, teammates, scholars. They came to Munich in 1972 to compete as athletes in the Olympics. They came in peace and went home in coffins. I will never forget the words of TV commentator Jim McKay, who solemnly announced to the world, they are gone. They are all gone. It is incumbent upon us to protect the memory of these men and the message their murder sends to the world, that we cannot afford to stay silent or inactive in the face of enemies who seek to destroy, murder, defame, and control mankind through fear. We remember Moshe Weisenberg and Yosef Romano, Ze'ev Friedman and David Berger, Jakob Springer and Eliza Halfen, Yosef Gutfriend and Kehat Shore, Mark Slavin, Andre Spitzer, Amateur Shapira. And as we stand on this hallowed ground, we remember two very special Jewish athletes. Marty Glickman and Sam Stoller. As qualified American sprinters, they were denied the chance to run in the 1936 Olympics for the simple reason that they were Jewish. We compete in these Maccabi games in their honor, and we're honored to have some of their family here with us as well. He's gone. now by Larry Cantor. There is a time for everything. 
for all things under the sun. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to laugh and a time to cry. A time to dance and a time to mourn. A time to seek and a time to lost. A time to forget and a time to remember. This day and sacred convocation remember those who gave us life. Remember those who enriched our lives with love and beauty, kindness and compassion, thoughtfulness and understanding. Renew our bonds to those who have gone the way of all the earth. As we reflect upon those whose memory moves us this day, we seek consolation and the strength and the insight born of faith. Tender as a father with his children, the Lord is merciful with his worshipers. He knows how we are fashioned, remembers that we are dust. Our days are as grass, we flourish as a flower in the field. The wind passes over it and it is gone, and no one can recognize where it grew. And we are doing El Malarachanin now, aren't we? Listen to the translation by Susan and Harvey Morgan. Exalted, compassionate God, grant perfect peace in your sheltering presence among the holy and the pure, to the souls of all our brethren, men, women, and children of the house of Israel, who were slaughtered and suffocated and burned to ashes. May their memory endure, inspiring truth and loyalty in our lives. May they rest in peace, and let us say, Amen.
we say Kaddish together. Yit Kadal ve Yit Kadash Shemei Rabba Be'alma Divra Chirute Be'amlich Malchute Be'chaychon Be'mochon Be'chayei Dechol Bet Yisrael Be'agala U'bizman Tarei Be'mro Amen Yehei Shemei Rabba Mborach Le'olam Ul'almei Al-Maya Yitbarach Yishtabach Yitpaar Yitromam Yitnase Yitadar Yitale Yitalal Shemei Dekutsha בריחו, לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה, טוש וחתה ונחמתה, דאמירן ועלמה ואמרו, אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמואל, וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו, אמן. עושה שלום יהי זכרם ברוך. May their memory be blessed. And we would like to end our service now and sing the Hatikva together. Thank you.